Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 1st, 2019. Wow, can you believe it's August? We're going to be back in college football season soon. And doggone, Jerome Powell disappointed the market yesterday. But let's not, let's kind of remove some of the emotion and let's take a look at the charts and see what we have to look at here um, overall. So first off, one of the things I want to make mention of is bearish engulfing candles. We have bearish engulfing candles showing up now on our index charts in the Diamond Spy and Q. We'll show those in just a, se a second. And I think what um, is important in this chart, at least at the moment, is even though we had some very, very strong selling here, we managed to hold some key levels of support in the chart. We didn't break all the way down. So that is a good sign and perhaps we can have some cooler heads prevail and pick back up off here um, today with all of the earnings and things coming out. But let's think about that for just a second. First off, a bearish engulfing candle. To be a true bearish engulfing candle, we need to have downside follow through. And if we can get a lift off of this area and prevent that downside follow through, then we may have that opportunity to start working our way back up toward a rather difficult resistance level now. And the reason I say that, that big bearish engulfing candle, if we can lift up here, is going to provide a significant challenge for that breakthrough to the upside. So let's watch that closely if that occurs. Now, the other thing is I even though futures are pointing to a bullish open this morning, you can see we're looking at a bit of a gap up this morning, trying to lift back up into here. I would not rule out the possibility of a pop and drop or some additional selling coming into the market. So we'll have to really stay on our toes today for that possibility if um, an earnings report happens to disappoint or something like that. Remember, the market has risen over 10% in just two months in hopes of these um, earnings cut or rate cuts. And Jerome Powell really disappointed the market yesterday and provided very little clarity about the future price action after only cutting a quarter point yesterday and really didn't indicate that there were more cuts to come, which disappointed the market. So we may have overpriced this market substantially, trying to build in uh, more rate cuts than, um, well, uh, the FOMC ever intended. So kind of keep that in mind. Uh, there still could be a little bit of a deflated attitude in here in the market if we are to believe there are no future rate cuts coming. Um, that could um, create a, some additional downside pressure. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very similar situation. Um, really putting in a a substantial high now here in the market with that big bearish engulfing candle. But here's the good news in the SPY. The SPY rallied back enough to hold this price support by the end of the day. And as you can see, futures are trying to push that a higher. So as long as those cooler heads prevail and we find enough inspiration in today's earnings events and, and economic reports, there is that possibility that we could start shifting back higher here in that chart but we'll have to watch that pretty closely and keep in mind um, any little light rally moving back up here really could establish a bear flag in the chart that could set us up for that failure um, hopefully that is not the case but we have to consider all the possibilities here in the chart and then once again i would like to suggest the possibility that um, we could still receive more downside move today even though we're indicating a pop-up this morning. And it's going to be really critical if we do get that downside move that we hold these price supports in the chart and not swing all the way back down below this breakout high that created these new record highs in the market. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs um, really kind of in a shaky situation here. Uh, 
obviously dropped pretty substantially and now we've placed a, a rather difficult uh, resistance here in the chart. But what we also did was breach down below this little price support on this breakout here um, to create those new record highs that we did this uh, earlier this month and uh, I should say later last month and um, creating a bit of a situation here we need to see those bulls push up and hold this level of price support because if we were to drift back down below this area I think that would really psychologically psychologically disappoint the market and we could certainly slip um, even further lower to these next levels of price support in the chart so keep that in mind we are trying to move up this morning we've placed a pretty strong resistance in this chart above it's going to take some pretty substantial um, earnings res results to move us higher and to overcome that disappointment of uh, well uh, lack of clarity for additional rate cuts I should say let's take a look at IWM IWM um, was really starting to get with the program here starting to fire up and move up strongly and then um, the Powell comments came out and we pushed all the way back now the good news here in IWM is that we managed to hold on to this downtrend so so far that's hanging in there pretty good we didn't fail back through as we have been doing where we've just been kind of back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and this morning IWM is looking for a little bit of move higher so IWM's trying to show some signs here of some bullishness we'll have to watch this pretty carefully what we don't want to see is IWM struggle or continue to struggle with price resistance areas right through here in the chart we want to see those breach and and hold up here and prove that we can hold this downtrend line so we need to see that bullish action if we were to slip back down from here I got to tell you I think guys this would be pretty critical for the market if if IWM fails one more time here at this downtrend um, area so watch that close let's take a look at the VIX the VIX uh, fear really came into the market yesterday picking up on those Powell comments but it stopped short of breaking this downtrend came really really close to breaking this downtrend and it depends on how you draw it we may have breached it slightly or or whatever but um, what we did do is hold on to the price resistance here showing in this chart so remember I don't think the major problem is going to be created in the VIX in unless we break out and hold above that downtrend area if we hold above that downtrend area prove that that's where real fear will start to creep into the market and we could have some nasty selling so hopefully that doesn't uh, isn't the case and this morning we can expect with this little gap up open that the VIX could actually drift a little bit lower here here at the open so let's keep a close eye on that um, VIX could be very telling but you can see how quickly that VIX can change um, when we have um, all this complacency in the market where we just believe the market can't fall and then wow um, all of a sudden we find out well maybe it can and it does it in a hurry so keep that in mind that complacency I've been talking about really showed its face yesterday um, where all of a sudden the market was just shocked and uh, the selling came in hard let's take a look at t2122 that four week new high new low ratio in the market now what's interesting is with all this bouncing around we had pushed up here pretty high yesterday but all this bouncing around all we've done is left a lot of confusion here in t2122 we're not really getting much clarity for direction here at all and remember uh, t2122 really doesn't help us out much unless we are up here in the bearish reversal zone or down here in the bullish 
reversal zone. So right now we're sitting here kind of right here in the middle, a little bit of confusion um, here in T2122. It does show us that we have plenty of room for our upside move and we have plenty of room for a downside move. And that's really all it is really telling us today. We have to be very watchful, careful, and stay really focused to that price action for clues. Let's um, take a look at our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar may have something to say about how the market reacts today. First off, 8.30 a.m. this morning, we get that jobless claims number coming in. Um, um, right now, I'm not expecting any massive changes or anything in there, but we'll want to keep an eye on that. Jobs have remained very, very strong overall. Uh, then we get the PMI manufacturing can move the market around. Uh, the bigger number is going to be that ISM manufacturing index. So keep an eye on that at 10 a.m. Construction spending and EIA natural gas. Now, I think once we reach down in here, we're going to be more focused on earnings than we are these reports. But you know, obviously, if they are a big surprise... Uh, that can move the market around. And then last but not least, here at the end of the day, the Fed balance sheet. And I don't expect that to do much of anything today. Um, we do want to keep in mind that tomorrow we have some really big reports coming. Um, you know, we have the big government employment situation number on Friday, as well as international trade, consumer sentiment, and factory orders. So we have a heavy day tomorrow. And it is entirely possible the market would just um, rest and get choppy could just rest and get really choppy as we wait for those big numbers on friday so that's also a possibility to consider we're really going to have to stay on our toes today when it comes to the price action so with that everyone I want to wish you all a great day of trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, would you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube. And then when the, there's a little pop-up that comes up, make sure you click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos is not to predict anything. It's to help lay out the possibilities for the day, help you decide how you're going to approach the market for the day. If you find these useful, if you find these helpful, please do me a favor as well and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. You don't have to leave a big, long, flowery comment or anything like that. Um, just the very simple comment. I got to tell you guys, you humble me every day with the very kind comments that you leave um, on the channel. Thank you so much. And you are truly responsible for the growth of this channel. Um, I give it up to you and um, uh, once again, very humbled uh, by um, your support of uh, this work. So thank you very, very much. Also, please feel free to share these videos with any friends, family, share them on Facebook or Twitter. Um, um, and the more you do that, the more folks we we find and, and bring in to, uh, to the group. And, um, and hopefully we can help them as well. So with that, let's take a look at um, some charts that could be setting up for today let's um we've got several charts out there to just just have looked really really strong but yesterday really kind of shook that tree pretty hard and there could be some trouble um, in different places but what i want to point out here is bby now bby i have alerted on this twice to rwo members we alerted in here and we alerted in here both of those trades worked out nicely. And now we see that yesterday's price action, although it was pretty rough and back and forth, we've pulled back to the downtrend or to the uptrend. And now we have to wait for an entry signal. We need to see those buyers stepping up in here. Now, I can't tell you for sure if they're actually going to do that, but I do want to pay attention to this. And you can see I've placed an alert on the chart. I'm watching and waiting for that possibility to come in and uh, pick that up. Another place we might want to look is some of the consumer defensive stocks. Consumer defensive, when the market starts getting a little bit shaky, consumer defensive stocks seem to be a place where folks run, and they run to those because of the big dividend yields. They're trying to protect themselves in these uh, big old stocks. Now, KHC certainly is not a stellar stock. This thing has 
been ugly, nasty for a long period of time. But what it is doing is coming up in what we call a round of bottom breakout pattern. And that's where we get very oversold in the stock and we start to recover and turn back up. And as you can see, we're, we've held this, broke the downtrend here. We're holding this nice consolidation above support. I want to watch this for that potential entry signal into the chart. Now let's keep in mind, this has a trend that we're working on. So it is entirely possible this could continue that consolidation over toward the trend. We'll want to watch that closely. But right now, looking pretty good overall. and We want to keep our eyes on that chart. A, another chart that just continues to perform and really quite amazing how this has just been that nice little stairway to heaven here as we're moving on up and KAR looking really good. This nice tight consolidation moving back over toward the trend. It started to break yesterday just ahead of it reaching back over here to its trend but then yesterday's price action brought it back down but what's interesting is there was not a big negative reaction here in KAR, um, just a very light pullback. So let's watch this closely to see if there's still that opportunity to the upside here in that chart. Take a look at U.S. Steel. Now, U.S. Steel took it a little harder yesterday. Um, the steel stocks have been starting to come up, and here's one of those charts again in that rounded bottom breakout pattern where we turn this 50-day moving average. Notice how that 50-day moving average is starting to turn up and all of our shorter term averages are crossing through. Now as long as we don't follow through to the downside here with this bearish candle, we could still be in this pattern and holding on to this potential uptrend and see that those steel stocks start move back, moving back higher. Watch this close. This is certainly uh, nothing to jump on right now. And by the way, none of these charts are something to jump on right now. Um, uh, just a reminder to everyone, every chart I show here is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It's meant for the evaluation of the chart and to help you maybe build a watch list of stocks that could potentially be setting up. So let's keep an eye on that. Um, uh, take a look at CentOS. CentOS, although it pulled back yesterday, um, and looked pretty ugly for uh, a little bit. This has bounced back higher. CentOS is still setting up for that potential upside move. No one here really wants to sell this stock. And as you can see, it's just been trending beautifully. Gapped up on earnings, holding up well. So we might want to keep an eye on that CentOS. Looking pretty darn good overall. Other places to look is retail. I don't know why retail got inspired yesterday. But retail started to come up in several places. If we take a look at Abercrombie Finch here, a and F, there's that downtrend break and that little trend starting to happen here. And if we take a look, <coughs> oh, excuse me, pardon me, um, that is a nice little round bottom breakout pattern. Now, unfortunately here, we still don't have that 50 day moving average starting to turn. So this could still have a little more consolidation work, a little more things uh, back and forth to do. But ANF could be setting up. And that is also showing up in stocks like uh, GP, GPS, uh, the gap. Gap starting to do that round and bottom breakout pattern rolling up. We're starting to see some of those retailers, um, clothing retailers picking up and also GES. GES doing the same thing, trying to roll up here looking pretty good overall and we might want to keep an eye on those and i still i want to go back and i want you to also consider some of those defensive sector areas um, that could be um, we had a strong pullback here in clx clorox but you can see we have been trending up and if there's a little bit of uncertainty in the market it's these old defensive companies where we uh, have that chance of picking up that dividend yield where we can see stocks um, hold up pretty well. Um, you know, stocks like uh, Mondelez, MDLZ, whoops, MDLZ, MDLZ can pick back up um, in, in markets like that. So let's watch that closely. Right now, um, some of these are still showing quite a little bit of bearishness 
But um, if the market really starts to slip and fall, there's concern in the market. Watch some of these defensive sector stocks. Another stock to pay attention to, last but not least here today, I want to talk about is BX. BX has been rallying very, very nicely. Had a bearish engulfing candle yesterday, but remember that bearish engulfing candle means nothing unless it follows through to the downside. Um, so what we need to see is those buyers pick this back up and hold in this little wedge pattern that is forming here in the chart. If that can pick back up, then BX is certainly um, um, within that realm of that stock that can move back higher. So watch those pretty closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all the very best of days. Be a little bit careful and cautious. We have a lot of data coming out today, a lot of, um, well, challenging price action. Remember, you don't have to trade every day to, to be successful. And I just want to put a word of encouragement out there. If if you're struggling as a trader, I got to tell you, there are periods of the market that challenge every trader. It's, I know you look on social media and you would think that, oh, there's just people just making bucket loads of money all the time, every single day. Guys, that's just not true. And um, the market is not handing us great big returns right now. So we have to be um, a little bit careful, a little bit cautious with the back and forth and that kind of insipid price action that we've been getting. So uh, keep that in mind and, and just remember, um, even, even very experienced um, traders um, are having a difficult time right now really putting together um, substantial trades. We, we've kind of become uh, more of a day trade market right now where those really quick price actions are... Um, in favor. But um, don't give up. Don't give up on this dream of being a trader. Um, believe me, if an old carpenter like myself can figure this out and, and have been able to uh, make a career out of this uh, now 15 years as a full-time trader, believe me, anyone can. So keep up the hard work. Um, it's okay to back off a little bit when, you're, when things are frustrating and challenging and just really dive into your study on uh, price and uh, and how we can how you can improve some of those tradings, revisit those rules, um, but never ever give up on that dream. Everyone, take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you all the best, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.